condition. Do you know about the meditation? You have already known the meaning of the not known about the meaning of the gravity and the gravitation. Today, I will insert to your mind about the gravity and the gravitation. This is the most important topic for your text. Okay? What is gravitation? Gravitation is nothing. It is the only the force of attraction between two bodies on this earth. Are you understand? Let me say again. Gravitation is nothing. Gravitation is the force of attraction between any two bodies on the earth. We call the gravitation. Another word sometimes somebody there is conflict between gravitation and the gravity. Today I will differentiate between these two words. There is so many difference between gravitation and the gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction of R to a body up to its center. Okay. Whereas Gravitation is the force of attraction between two bodies on the surface of Earth. Okay. So, gravitation and gravity not equal. Sometimes, Gravity is the force of attraction a body and a heart. We know that art is a huge magnet. Let us take here art is a huge magnet. We can consume that. So Another word, art is a huge body compared to a things or compared to a body. In this term, we know that the bigger body having the high masses can attract to the small body having the less mass. Do you know? Firstly, let us define about the gravitation. Say, I read and I write here. The force of attraction between any two body is called the gravitation. That means this body is A, this body is B. Within the body A and the B, the force of attraction between A and the B developed is F. Do you know? This force of attraction between body A and the B, the mass M1 is for A and the mass M2 is for B. The force of attraction between A and the B is called the gravitation. Okay. And we know that our art. 
द फोर्स ऑफ एट्रेक्शन ऑफ आर टू ए बोधी ए और बी अप टू इट सेंटर वी कॉल द ग्रेविटी सो इन दिस रिलेशन द फेमस साइंटिस्ट सार आइजक न्यूटन propounded a law the famous law that's law we known the law of gravitation sometimes the universal law of gravitation somebody known as newton's universal law of gravitation Newton's universal law of gravitation states that ha huh. what i say firstly let us study about the newton's law of gravitation firstly we should by heart we should be Understand about this thing, about this concept and term. Okay. So this law states that universal law of gravitation states that the force of attraction between two bodies, this body, say suppose A and B, body is directly proportional to the product. Of their masses, that means mass m1 and m2, and the inversely proportional to the square of their distance. Their distance means between the distance between a and b is r. From this law, we can write such relation. So, from the universal law of gravitation, we have force directly proportional product of their masses m1 into m2. This is the equation one, and this force directly proportional. To the inverse of the square of the their distance, this is the equation two. Now combining these two relation. Thank you. 
into r square. Here, the TPT letter G is known as universal gravitational constant. This TPT letter G is known as the universal gravitational constant. We are G is known as the universal gravitational constant. Okay. For today, we have already derived this relation from the universal law of gravitation Newton's. Next time, I will continue from this relation for you. Okay. For today, let me stop here up to this relation. F is equal to G M1 M2. That means masses of the two bodies and the distance between them are we should be noted this relation. Okay. Up to this for today. Thank you.